Hello and welcome to another video from Canadian Guns and Gear. The Baofeng UV5R is a very inexpensive ham radio that broadcasts and receives on both the VHF and UHF bands, as well as receives FM radio. It has a limited range, but it can be a very useful tool in case of an emergency. Stay tuned while we take a look at the top five uses for the Baofeng UV5R during an emergency. Welcome back. During normal times, an amateur radio license is required to transmit on ham frequencies. The UV5R is capable of transmitting on other frequencies as well, however in a non-emergency situation this could interfere with emergency services and it is illegal. However, most countries make an exception for emergency situations which allow you to use frequencies to get help if you need it. This top five will focus on listening only to gather information during an emergency, but depending on the situation you may be allowed to transmit without a license. Here are the top five uses for the UV5R during an emergency. In at number five is listening to FM radio. The UV5R has a built-in FM radio which allows you to listen to the FM broadcast band. This can be very useful in an emergency situation since most radio stations will broadcast information such as weather, emergency instructions, or other important information. This feature allows you to always have an FM radio with you. So in order to access the FM radio, the first thing you need to do is turn the radio on. And if you press once on the top orange button here, it'll switch us into FM mode. So as you can see here, we are tuned into 104.7 and we're getting a bit of a radio signal here. What you can do is you can actually press the scan button and it'll scan through the different uh, radio frequencies in your area. Number four on the list is listening to the FRS and GMRS frequencies. The UV5R is capable of receiving and broadcasting on the UHF spectrum 400 to 520 megahertz. The FRS and GMRS frequencies fall in this range and are between 462 and 467 megahertz. This means you can receive and transmit on these frequencies. These frequencies may be used by others to communicate since they are common for walkie-talkie type radios that are available locally and can provide you with information. During an emergency, you could also transmit if you need help on these frequencies. I'll include a list of the frequencies in the description below for the FRS and GMRS channels. Number three on the list is to listen to police, fire, and EMS. While more and more agencies are moving to a digital trunk system, some police, fire, and EMS services are still using analog VHF for their communication. This means that you can listen into them with the UV5R similar to how police scanner works. Be careful to disable the transmit function because these frequencies you definitely do not want to interfere with unless you're in desperate need of help during an emergency. You can use a website such as Radio Reference to find your local frequencies for emergency services. I'm going to provide a link in the description below so you can research them in your local area. Number two on the list is to listen to weather radio. The US and Canada have a national service for weather radio and some other countries may have a very similar service. In the US, this is called the NOAA Weather Radio and in Canada, it's called Environment Canada Weather Radio. These services broadcast local weather information continuously as well as any emergency and weather alerts. The frequencies are in the VHF spectrum and can be picked up by the UV5R. I'll include the frequencies in the description, but it's a good idea to program them into your radio so you can use them in the future. This is what it sounds like. In low -lying areas. For Saturday, cloudy. Snow beginning. Number one on the list is to listen to ham repeaters. The number one use for the UV5R in an emergency situation is ham repeaters. Similar to cell towers, ham repeaters are located at high points and extend the range of short distance radios such as the UV5R. No license is required to listen, but you must have a ham radio license to transmit. During an emergency, ham operators will usually be on local repeaters providing information about the situation. If you are in a situation where you do need help, calling for help on the ham repeater will be your best bet in getting a response, since they're usually monitored by ham operators who will be more than happy to help you. These have been the top five uses for the UV5R during an emergency. Please remember to understand the legality of transmitting in your local jurisdiction. I encourage you to work towards getting your ham radio license if you don't already have one. Hopefully this video helps you out and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to include all the information I've talked about in the description below. Thanks for watching.